What's up guys? Welcome back to Why Should I Read That? I'm John. This is episode 11 of the series. Today is the book The Fifth Discipline by Dr. Peter Sange, The Art and Practice of Building a Learning Organization, the subtitle of the book. So the book is aimed directly at businesses and it's aware that it caused a bit of a fad. There was a, a process in the late 90s where they talked a lot about learning organizations, but the concepts of this book are just rock solid foundational and being able to learn about them. I actually went through an abridged co uh, copy of this book and as soon as I was done, I grabbed the, the full copy and opened it up to look up the processes and the, the concepts that I wanted to dig more into because I was so excited about what's going on in here. So Peter Sange writes about the fifth discipline, systems thinking, which is the fifth discipline, but that being the fifth implies that there are four others. So his five components of a learning organization are number one, personal mastery, knowing what you know to the best of your ability. Number two, building shared vision, getting buy-in from those people around you and bringing the team and the whole organization along and really focusing in on the long-term goal. Number three, mental models. Identifying what we already believe about the world. This might be also termed worldview, but he uses the idea mental models because it actually um, is a little bit more detailed rather than a worldview. But a worldview is our mental model of the world. So uh, number four, team learning. And this is really denoted by having dialogue where everyone kind of works together and thinks together rather than just discussion where everyone has um, different opinions and tries to convince everyone else. And again, number five, systems thinking, being able to identify patterns and holes in the world. So that way the complexity of the world kind of comes into focus. The, the theme of this series really has been personal development. And reading this book from a personal development standpoint was just fascinating for me. I would love to read it from um, fix my uh, fix my business standpoint or fix the problems in my organizational uh, standpoint. And I probably will at some point, but reading it from a personal development standpoint was fantastic. Let me read you a passage from uh, from page 62 of this book where it talks about the idea of moving forward in the, the best way possible. He talks about the optimal rate of growth. Again, remember this is a business book aimed directly at, uh, at managers and leaders in business. Virtually all natural systems, from ecosystems to animals to organizations, have intrinsically optimal rates of growth. The optimal rate is far less than the fastest possible growth. When growth becomes excessive, as it does in cancer, the system itself will seek to compensate by slowing down, perhaps putting the organization's survival at risk in the process. The idea here is that when you push too hard against the system, when it's not ready to change as fast as you might want it to, because I'm, I'm definitely results oriented. As soon as I hear a new idea, I immediately want to get to it. If you push too fast, against the system, the system will actually push back against you. And the fastest rate of growth is one that happens naturally and that builds on these five disciplines. So for example, if you really want to, I mean, again, the, the idea of cancer growing too fast can put something at risk, or I grew up on a farm, we couldn't jam the strawberry plants into the ground and make them grow faster. We actually had to wait and nurture and grow and go through the process, the system that was already in place. So again, in the idea of personal development, this goes right back to the, the habits that we talked about in the slight edge and attitude is everything a few weeks ago, picking something that you can hold on to and work at and experience that natural rate of growth is actually the best way to develop rather than trying to push the system. You can, you can, work within the system and putting that uh, that process into a play for you. So again, guys, this book is phenomenal. Peter Sange in the beginning says he doesn't necessarily recommend it to be read cover to cover, 
But if any of the things that we talked about today sound interesting to you, I highly recommend that you pick this up by audiobook or in, uh, in physical copy and dig into one of those five disciplines because all five of them could have a full set of books written on them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm John. Check me out on all the social medias. I'll link them below. We'll talk more about this in more depth in the blog. We'll catch you guys later for episode 12. Do the truffle shuffle.